Installing Honeycomb 999 sections for comb honey production into the Langstroth Super. Hello viewers, today I'm going to tell you more about comb honey production. This time I'm going to show you a way of producing comb honey on a larger scale in Langstroth hives. Here I have a Langstroth Super. two supporting planks and a supporting grid all made by Honeycomb 999. The tools we require are two staplers one with 8mm staples and one with 12mm staples or you can use hammer and nails. So let's start assembling. We take the super and turn it over and we place the supporting grid inside it must be placed at the level of the walls of the super. And we hold it in place with staples as you can see on the screen. For this we use 8mm staples. This is how it looks when finished. We use a stapler because it's quick and convenient. So the next step is to install the sections into the super. When you put in the first of the sections, both of its corners must rest on the cross beams of the supporting grid as shown. This is incorrect and you need to remove the section and start putting them in from the opposite side of the super. Then we place four sections in a row and between the fourth section and the wall there is a small space into which we put a supporting plank. We then continue adding sections into the super until the bottom level is complete. After installing the bottom level of sections we put in the second supporting plank. It needs to be installed at a height so that the top of the section rests against it with room for the section on the second level to also rest against it when it's put in. It must be fixed by stapler with 12 mm staples. Here you can see how the edge of the second level section can also rest against the second supporting plank. So let's insert the rest of the second level of sections. And that's it. All of the sections are into the Langstroth Super. It holds 80 sections, two levels of 10 rows by four columns each. And this is a very convenient way to produce comb honey, and it's possible to produce comb honey commercially like this too. The comb honey can be easily extracted by simply taking the super, removing the sections containing the comb honey for packaging, replacing them with empty sections and returning the super. The method does not require any expensive equipment. Now I'll show you how to install foundation in the sections. The way that we do it is to take ready strips of foundation and insert them into the sections after they have been installed. What I'm doing above is just showing what's going on in the super when you slide the foundations in. And that's what it looks like. You can, if you prefer, insert foundation before the installation of the sections into the super, 
by placing strips into four sections at the same time and then placing the sections in the super and then continuing that, that row by row. So thank you for watching, make comb honey, good luck and bye for now.